Sistan Persian, Sistan known in ancient times as Sakhastan Persian, the land of the Sakha, is a historical and geographical region in present-day eastern Iran, Sistan and Baluchistan province, and southern Afghanistan, Nimruz, Kandahar. Largely desert, the region is bisected by the Helmand River, the largest river in Afghanistan, which empties into the Haman Lakes that form part of the border between the two countries. Etymology Sistan derives its name from Sakastan, the land of the Saka. The Sakas were a Scythian tribe which from the 2nd century BC to the 1st century migrated to the Iranian plateau and Indus Valley, where they carved a kingdom known as the Indo-Scythian Kingdom. In the Bundahitian, a Zoroastrian scripture written in Pahlavi, the province is called Sayanzi. After the Arab conquest of Iran, the province became known as Sijistan, Sistan, the more ancient Old Persian name of the region, prior to Saka dominance, was Zaranka, Waterland, cf. Pashtu Jaranda. This older form is also the root of the name Zaranj, capital of the Afghan Nimruz province. Encyclopedia Iranica says. The name of the country and its inhabitants is first attested as Old Persian Zrk in the Great Bicetan inscription of Darius I, apparently the original name. This form is reflected in the Elamite Sir Ra and Qa and variants, Babylonian Zara and, Ga, and Egyptian SRNG or Sernk versions of the Achaemenid royal inscriptions, as well as in Greek Zarangai, Zarongarioi, Zarangian, Arian, Isidore of Carrix, and Sarangai Herodotus, and in Latin Zarungai, Pliny. Instead of this original form, characterized by non-Persian Z, perhaps from proto -ie palatal asterisk gamma or asterisk gamma H, in some Greek sources, chiefly those dependent upon the historians of Alexander the Great, the perhaps hypercorrect Persianized variant CF Bellardi, p. 183, with initial D, asterisk dranka, or even asterisk dranga, reflected in Greek drangai, drange, drangene, drangi, a ni ctec as, Polybius, Strabo, Diodorus, Ptolemy, Arian, Stephanus Byzantius, and Latin drangai, drangiana, drangiani, Curtius Rufus, Pliny, Ammianus Marcellinus, Justin, or Drancius Valerius. Arius Flaccus, Argonautica 6.106, 6.507 occurs. In the Shahnama, Sistan is also referred to as Zabulistan, after the region in the eastern part of Iran. In Fadaus's epic, Zabulistan is in turn described to be the homeland of the mythological hero Rostam. History Early history In prehistoric times, the Giroft civilization covered parts of Sistan and Kerman province possibly as early as the 3rd millennium BC. It is best known from excavations of the archaeological site of Shah i Sokhta, a massive 3rd millennium BC city. Other smaller sites have been identified in the region in surveys by American archaeologists Walter Fairservice and George Dales. The site of Nad i Ali in Afghan Sistan has also been claimed to date from the Bronze Age Bensville and Frankfurt 1994. Later the area was occupied by Aryan tribes related to the Indo-Aryans and Iranian peoples. Eventually a kingdom known as Arachosia was formed, parts of which were ruled by the Medine Empire by 600 BC. The Medes were overthrown by the Achaemenid Persian Empire in 550 BC, and the rest Arachosia was soon annexed. The archaeological site of Dahan i Golaman was a major Achaemenid center. In the 4th century BC, Macedonian king Alexander the Great annexed the region during his conquest of the Persian Empire and founded the colony of Alexandria in Arachosia, modern Kandahar. 
The Greek city of Bost, now encompassed in modern Lashkarga, was also developed as a Hellenistic center. Alexander's empire fragmented after his death, and Arachosia came under control of the Seleucid Empire, which traded it to the Mauryan dynasty of India in 305 BC. After the fall of the Mauryans, the region fell to their Greco-Bactrian allies in 180 BC, before breaking away and becoming part of the Indo-Greek kingdom. Indo-Parthian king Gondophares was leader of Sakastan around c. 20–10 BCE as it was part of the Indo-Parthian kingdom which was also called Gedrosia, its Hellenistic name. After the mid-2nd century BC, much of the Indo-Greek kingdom was overrun by tribes known as the Indo-Scythians or Saka, from which Sistan eventually derived its name. The Indo-Scythians were defeated around 100 BC by the Parthian Empire, which briefly lost the region to its Shuran vassals the Indo-Parthian around 20 AD, before the region was conquered by the Kushan Empire in the mid-1st century AD. The Kushans were defeated by the Sassanid Persian Empire in the mid-3rd century, first becoming part of a vassal Kushansha state, before being overrun by the Hephthalites in the mid-5th century. Sassanid armies reconquered Sakastan in by 565 AD, but lost the area to the Arab Rashidun Caliphate after the mid-640s. <laughs> Hellenic era The province was formed in ca. 240, during the reign of Shapur I, in his effort to centralize the empire. Before that, the province was under the rule of the Parthian Shuran Kingdom, whose ruler Ardashir Sakhansha became a Sasanian vassal during the reign of Shapur's father Ardashir I. R. 224-242, who also had the ancient city Zedrang rebuilt, which became the capital of the province. Shapur's son Nasser was the first to appoint it as the governor of province, which he would govern until 271, when the Sasanian prince Hormizd was appointed as the new governor. Later in ca. 281, Hormizd revolted against his cousin Bahram II. During the revolt, the people of Sakastan was one of his supporters. Nevertheless, Bahram II managed to suppress the revolt in 283, and appointed his son Bahram III as the governor of the province. During his early reign, Shapur II appointed his brother Shapur Sakhansha as the governor of Sakhastan. Paroz I 459 to 484 during his early reign put an end to dynastic rule in province by appointing a Karinid as its governor the reason behind the appointment was to avoid further family conflict in the province and in order to gain more direct control of the province topic <laughs> islamic conquest During the Muslim conquest of Persia, the last Sasanian king Yazdegerd III fled to Sakhastan in the mid-640s, where its governor Apaviz, who was more or less independent, helped him. However, Yazdegerd III quickly ended this support when he demanded tax money that he had failed to pay. In 650, Abd Allah ibn Amir, after having secured his position in Kerman, sent an army under Mujashi ibn Masud to Sakhastan. After having crossed the Dasht i Lut desert, Mujashi ibn Masud arrived to Sakhastan. However, he suffered a heavy defeat and was forced to retreat. One year later, Abd Allah ibn Amir sent an army under Rabi ibn Ziyad Harithi to Sakhastan. After some time, he reached Zalik, a border town between Kerman and Sakhastan, where he forced the Deccan of the town to acknowledge Rashidun authority. He then did the same at the fortress of Karkuya, which had a famous fire temple, which is mentioned in the Tariq I Sistan. He then continued to seize more land in the province. He thereafter besieged Zed Rang, and after a heavy battle outside the city, Apaviz and his men surrendered. When Apaviz went to Rabi to discuss about the conditions of a treaty, he saw that he was using the bodies of two dead soldiers as a chair. 
This horrified Aparviz, who in order to spare the inhabitants of Sakhastan from the Arabs, made peace with them in return for heavy tribute, which included a tribute of 1,000 slave boys bearing 1,000 golden vessels. Sakhastan was thus under the control of the Rashidun Caliphate. Caliphate rule However, only two years later, the people of Zarang rebelled and defeated Rabi ibn Ziyad Harithi's lieutenant and Muslim garrison of the city. Abd Allah ibn Amir then sent Abd al-Rahman ibn Samura to Sistan, where he managed to suppress the rebellion. Furthermore, he also defeated the Zunbuls of Zabulistan, seizing Bust and a few cities in Zabulistan. During the First Islamic Civil War of 656 to 661, the people of Zarang rebelled and defeated the Muslim garrison of the city. In 658, Yazdegerd III's son Peroz III invaded Sistan and established a kingdom there, known in Chinese sources as the Persian Area Command. However, in 663, he was forced to leave the region after suffering a defeat to newly established Umayyad Caliphate, who had succeeded the Rashidans. <laughs> Safarid dynasty Sistan became a province of the Umayyad and Abbasid Caliphates. In the 860s, the Safarid dynasty emerged in Sistan and proceeded to conquer most of the Islamic East, until it was checked by the Samanids in 900. After the Samanids took the province from the Safarids, it briefly returned to Abbasid control, but in 917 the governor Abu Yazid Khalid made himself independent. He was followed by a series of emirs with brief reigns until 923, when Ahmad ibn Muhammad restored Safarid rule in Sistan. After his death in 963, Sistan was ruled by his son Caliph ibn Ahmad until 1002, when Mahmud of Ghazni invaded Sistan, ending the Safarid dynasty. A year later, Sistan revolted. In response, Mahmud brought an army to suppress the revolt. Mahmud's Hindu troops sacked the mosque of Zarang massacring the Muslims inside. Nasrid dynasty In 1029, Tadj al-Din i Abu al-Fadl Nasser founded the Nasrid dynasty, who were a branch of the Safarids. They became vassals of the Ghaznavids. The dynasty then became vassals of the Seljuks in 1048, Gurids in 1162, and the Khwarezmians in 1212. Mongols sacked Sistan in 1222 and Nasrid dynasty was ended by Khwarezmians in 1225. During Ghaznavid times, elaborate Safarid palaces were built at Lashkari Bazaar and Shah i Ghafola. Mirabanid dynasty and its successors In 1236, Shams al-Din Ali ibn Masud founded Mirabanid dynasty, another branch of Safarids, as Melik of Sistan for Ilkhanate. Mirabanid contested with Khatids during Mongol rule. Sistan declared independence in 1335 after demise of Ilkhanate. 1383 Tamerlane conquered Sistan and forced Mirabanids to become vassals. Overlordship of Timurids was ended in 1507 due to Uzbek invasion in 1507. Uzbeks were driven in 1510 and Mirabanids became vassals of Safavids until 1537 Safavids deposed the dynasty and gained full control of Sistan. Safavid rule was lasted till 1717 except Uzbek's rule between 1524 and 1528 and 1578 and 1598. In this year Hotaki dynasty conquered it. Nadir Shah reconquered in 1727. After assassination of Nadir Shah, Sistan under rule of Durrani Empire in 1747. Between 1747 and 1872 Sistan was contested with Persia and Afghanistan. 
The border dispute between Persia and Afghanistan was solved by Sistan Boundary Mission, led by British General Frederick Goldsmith, who agreed to most of Sistan in Persia but the Persians won the withdrawal of the right bank of the Helmand. The countries were not satisfied. The border was defined more precisely with the Second Sistan Boundary Commission 1903 headed by Arthur McMahon, who had a difficult task due to lack of natural boundaries. The part assigned Persia was included in the province of Balochistan which took the name of Sistan and Balakistan in 1986 being the capital Zahedan. In Afghanistan it was part of the Sistan province of Farachukanshah that was abolished in the administrative reorganization of 1964 to form the province of Nimruz, with capital Zaranj. Sistan has a very strong connection with Zoroastrianism and during Sassanid times Lake Haman was one of two pilgrimage sites for followers of that religion. In Zoroastrian tradition, the lake is the keeper of Zoroaster's seed and just before the final renovation of the world, three maidens will enter the lake, each then giving birth to the Saotians who will be the saviors of mankind at the final renovation of the world. The most famous archaeological sites in Sistan are Shari Sukta and the site on Ku'i Kwaja, a hill rising up as an island in the middle of Lake Hammond. <laughs> <laughs> 